Welcome back to my channel. Myself Sumaya Belu. You all know about fraction. A fraction is a number which has a numerator as well as a denominator. But do you know there is something called as decimal fraction? So in today's video, I am going to cover a concept of decimal fraction. How to convert a fraction into decimal as well as how to convert a decimal into fraction in a very interesting way. So let's see the material required for making this teaching aid. In the concept of decimal fraction, I have made a flip book. And to make the flip book, the material required will be art sheet paper, OHP sheet and marker pen or sketch pens. So what are we waiting for? Let's zoom into decimal fraction concept. So let's begin the concept students. First we need to know what is a decimal fraction. A fraction whose denominator is in the multiple of 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Or in simple I can say any number which is 10 times multiple of 10 is called a decimal fraction. So what is a decimal fraction? In a numerator it can be any number but at a denominator's place it can be either 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So then the fraction will be called as a decimal fraction. Example, 5 upon 10, 68 upon 100, 285 upon 100, etc. So now let's see how to convert a fraction into decimal and how to convert a decimal into fraction. And what is the rule for converting each of them? So I'm going to explain it by using a pi model, that is pizza model. And looking at this pizza model, a child has to write it in terms of fraction. And looking at a fraction, the child has to convert it in terms of decimal. So let's see here. In this pie, out of 10 pieces, there is only one piece left. So what will the child write in terms of fraction? Yes, you are right. He is going to write 1 upon 10. And how to convert this 1 upon 10 in terms of decimal? For this, the child has to see the number of 0 at the denominator's place the number denominator place there is only one zero so and then under numerator place the number is one so here what let's see what is going to happen here at decimal place so here it will be one the way it is written and since it is one zero it is going to shift one place thus one upon ten in the fraction form will be converted into decimal form will become zero point one similarly in the next pizza model out of ten pieces of pizza there are 7 pieces of pizza left. Thus, in the fraction form, the child will write 7 upon 10. Since there was 1 0, from right hand side the point will shift to 1 place. So, thus the, in the decimal form the answer will be 0 0.7. Now, out of 10 pieces, there is only 1 piece of uh, pizza that is eaten. So, now remaining 9 pieces are still left. So, in the fraction form will be 9 upon 10 and decimal form will be 0 0.9. But what to do if the fraction are not in multiples of 10? Like this example, if you will see, there were two pieces of pizza. Out of that, one piece of pizza is written and one is left. So if I want to write this in the fraction form, the child will write 1 upon 2. But when we want to convert it in terms of decimal, it has to be multiple of 10. So can I convert 2 in terms of 10? So for 2, I have to multiply by some number at the denominator's place. 2 multiplied by some number is equal to 10. So which number students? It has to be 5. We know 2 5s are 10. But when we write 5 at the denominator's place, according to mathematical rule, we have to write at the numerator's place also. So 2 5s are became 10 and 1 5s are became 5. So the actually 1 upon 2 and 5 upon 10 both are equivalent fraction. Now it, it, things are easy. Since now it, uh, the denominator is in terms of 10, Thus, it is a decimal fraction. So, converting this decimal fraction into a decimal number will be very easy. 5 upon 10, automatically the child will give answer. It has to be 0 0.5. Let's take another example. What if I have 4 pieces of pizza and out of that 4 pieces, 3 pieces are already written and there is only 1 piece left. So, if I want to write this in terms of fraction, definitely the child will say the fraction will be 1 upon 4. The denominator's place is 4. I have to convert in terms of some 10, either 10, 100 and so on. So 4, I, we know that 4 multiplied by some number should be either 10. Possible? Yes, it is possible. Actually, it will be 2.5. But it, we can make it more simple. 
for students that we can tell the child that 4 multiply by 25 4 multiply by 25 you will get the answer 4 into 25 is how much 100 so same thing we are going to do up also in the numerators place it will be 1 into 25 that will give us 25 upon 100 thus 1 upon 4 and 25 upon 100 both are equivalent fraction so now things are easy for the child 25 upon 100 now here the child need to focus that at the denominator's place there are two zeros so the child will write 25 as it is and from here he is going to count two places and bring the decimals from at before 2 so the number will be 0 0.25 never say 0 0.25 students I am correcting you all here see because after point each unit each number are individual they are separate so it is not 25 you see it is 0 0.25 keep this in mind this pizza out of 5 pieces 2 pieces are left so now you have understood it will be 2 upon 5 nearest number multiple of 10 will be 5 into 2 is going to give you 10 so thus you are going to get equivalent fraction 4 upon 10 and a decimal form since it is 1 0 it is going to be 0 0.4 this out of the 5 pieces 3 pieces are left so fraction form will be 3 upon 5 and to make it a decimal fraction I want to convert this 5 in terms of 10 so 5 2s are 10 so thus we will get uh, 6 upon 10 which will actually get in the decimal form will be 0 0.6 here it is 4 pieces are left so it is 4 upon 5 and thus you will get land up getting 8 upon 10 and decimal form since it is only 1 0 at the denominator's place after 8 from left, from left hand, uh, right hand side it point will come uh, after one digit so the answer will be 0 0.8 now here this is something little tricky here 8 pieces of pizzas were there out of the 3 are left so the fraction form is going to be 3 upon 8 so you need to know that now in a simpler way it cannot be converted in terms of 10 or 100 the, if you want it in a very simpler way for students it has to be in terms of 1000 so we know 8 into 125 will give us 1000 alright but if you want to make it in terms of 100 then it, it has to be 8 into 12.5 and if you want to make it in terms of 10 then it has to be 1.25 so it all depends on you how you want to take it the simpler one i would suggest is 8 into 125 is going to give you 1000 so thus 3 into 125 will give 375 upon 1000 and your three zeros are there from right hand side the point is going to shift three places so thus the child will get the answer 0 0.375 the last one for you all now again a similar one out of eight pieces one piece of pizza is eaten seven is remaining thus in the fraction form it is going to be seven upon eight and now you have understood 8 nearest number to convert in terms of 10 will be 1000 so 8 into 125 is going to give you 1000 and 7 into 125 is going to give you 875 so we get an equivalent fraction 7 upon 8 ka equivalent fraction is 875 upon 1000 and since 3 zeros are there at the denominator's place thus you are going to write 875 and you are going to shift decimal for decimal will shift from right hand side to 3 places so you are going to get the answer 0.875 I hope the concept of uh, decimal fraction is clear to you with the help of a pizza model and now you'll be able to convert a fraction into decimal and a decimal into fraction. All about decimal fraction. See you all in the next video.